Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. In our today's lecture, we will see the four laws or rules of logarithm that will be helpful in order to solve the complex equations made up of logs. Okay? So, we have the four laws of, log of logarithm that are, okay? so these are the four laws of logarithm that will be helpful in while finding the solution of the complex equations made up of logs. Okay, let's find out its proof one by one so that we can have a clear understanding that how can we say that its left hand side is equal to the right hand side. First of all, we will solve the first law that is we will find the proof of the first law that is the product law. First we write its mathematical statement then we will prove it. Its mathematical statement is log of a of m into n as they are multiplying m and n are multiplying that's why we call it a product law and it can be written as log of a of m plus log of a of n now we have to prove that its left hand side is equal to right hand side okay so for that purpose let's uh, do its proof that is its proof will be for finding the proof we have to assume few things in order to uh, find the uh, proof of uh, this above uh, mentioned equation so as this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side so in proof we have to prove that its left hand side is equal to right hand side okay uh, let's make some assumptions as let's say log of a m is equals to x and log of a n is equals to y so here we so here we have made some assumptions as log of a m is equals to x and log of a n is equals to y okay then we have to convert both of these into the exponential form this equation as well as this equation we have to convert them in ex exponential form we have already seen in our previous lectures how to convert the log form into an exp exponential form so it can be written as a raised to power x is equals to m okay and the, this equation can be written as a raised to power y is equals to n so these are the two equations that we have made from the above assumptions okay then we have to multiply these exponential forms together and what we will get let's see we have to multiply the left hand side with left hand side and the right hand side with the right hand side so it will give us a raised to power x a raised to power x dot a raised to power y is equals to m into n okay now by using the exponential rule that where the bases are same then the powers will be added. So if this equation can be written as a raised to power x plus y is equals to mn. Now this is the equation in exponential form and we have to convert it into, into the log form. As we have already seen how to convert the exponential form into log form. So we have to convert it into log form as here the base is a. So we we'll write log base is a and mn here is the argument so we'll write mn here and x plus y that is the exponent okay now this x and y will be replaced by what these equations this one and this we have to put back the value of x and y in this equation so what we get is log of a of mn is equals to what is x x is log of a into m plus y is log of a into n so this is the proof of the product law okay now we will move towards the second law that is the quotient law quotient law is stated as log of a m divided by n is equals to log of a m minus log of uh, now we will move towards the proof okay for that we have to make an assumption as we have made in the previous uh, in the proof of the previous law that is a product law okay so we can say that let log of a into m is equals to x and log of a into n is equals to y okay then you have to convert these two equations into exponential form as a raised to power x is equals to m and a raised to power y is equals to n okay so these are the two equations that we have formed from the assumptions now for the for the sake of proof of the quotient law we have to divide the equation 1 and 2 so we'll write divide a raised to power x divided by a raised to power y is equals to m divided by n okay then by using the law of the exponents as it is in the exponential form we can say that the numbers are in the same base and they are in division form 
can be write, written as a raised to power x minus y is equals to m over n. Okay. So we can convert this equation into log as this is the exponential form. So we have to convert this equation into log as log of a m over n is equals to x minus y. So this is the equation in the form of log. Now in this equation we have to substitute the value of this x and y back. What it will be then? It will become as log of a m by n is equals to x minus y x is equals to log of a of m minus log of a of n. So this is the proof of the quotient law of log. Okay, So this is how we can prove uh, the quotient law where the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay, Now we move towards the next law. Before that you have to keep one thing in mind. There are two points regarding the quotient law that you have to keep in mind as point number one is log of a of m over n can never be equal to log of a of m over log of a of n. So we can never write the equation in this way. Okay. Another point is log of a of m minus log of a of n can never be equal to log of a of m minus n. Okay. These uh, points are very important while solving the complex equations made up of logs. Okay. Then log of a of 1 over n can never be equal to log of a of 1 minus log of a of n because this log of a of 1 is equal to 0. So the equality can never be proved in this state. Okay, these are the few points that you have to consider while uh, using the quotient law in the equations. Okay. Now, now we move towards the third law for and how it can be proved. Third law is the power law of, of logarithm. Okay. And uh, how it is uh, mathematically stated as so according to the power law we can write as log of a of m raised to power n is equals to n into log of a of m. Okay. Now let's see how you can prove that. Its proof is as uh, again we have to make some assumptions for, for its proof. So we can say that let log of a of m is equals to y log of a of m raised to power n is equals to x. Okay. Then it can be written as in exponential forms as a raised to power y equals to m and it will be a raised to power x equals to m raised to power n. Okay. So this is the equation number one and this is the equation number two. Okay. Now we have to put the value of m from this equation into this equation. Okay, it means you have to, what do you have to do? You have to put value of m from 1 into 2. So a raised to power x is equals to m raised to power n. Okay, a raised to power x is equals to m is a raised to power y. And we'll write as this y in n. Okay, then this equation becomes a raised to power x is equals to a raised to power y n. Okay, as the bases are same, as the bases are equal, then their powers can also we can also say their power is equal. So this equation can be written as x is equals to y n. Okay. So we have to put the value of x and y back into this equation. Okay. So we have to put which value of x and y? We have to put this value and this value of x and y. Okay. So the equation now will become x is equals to log of log of a of m raised to power n is equals to y is equals to y is log of a of m or n, n is multiplying so n we write n here and then the value of y is log of a of m okay so it has been proved the left hand side is equals to the right hand side so this is how you can prove the power law by making some assumptions then we move towards the last law that is the change of base formula okay so what is how it is stated we write as log of a of n is equals to log of b of n multiplied by log of a of b or log of b of n divided by log of b of a. Okay. So we have to prove this as we have to again assume something. Let's say, let's say log of b of n is equals to x. Okay. So we have to, we have assumed log of b of n is equals to x. Okay. 
so it can be written in the form of it can be written in exponential form as d raised to power x is equals to n okay so we have to take the log on both sides log which log to the base a with base a so how we can write it as it will be log of a of n is equal to log of a of b raised to power x okay so it can be written as as according to the uh, power law it can be written as x into log of a b okay then we will uh, what we will do we will um, replace the value of x here as log of a of n will be equals to here the value of x is this x is equals to this so so we put the value of x that is equals to log of b of n so we will write as log of b of n into log of a of b so this is the equation 1 so if we put n is equals to a in equation 1 then what we will get it will become log of a into a is equals to log of b into a then log of a into b okay then log of a into a is equals to 1 okay so this equation can be written as log of a of b is equals to 1 over log of b of a okay so we put the value of uh, log of a of b in equation 1 yes. this is equation 2 so put the value of log of a of b in equation 1 now what was the equation 1 let's write it down equation 1 was log of a of n is equals to log of b of n into okay so we will put this value here so the equation 1 becomes log of a of n is equals to log of b of n divided by log of b of a hence the uh, this uh, rule is also proved the left hand side is equals to the right to the right hand side and uh, this rule is very important um, while uh, converting the natural log into common log and vice versa so write as natural log can be converted into common log and common log can be converted into natural log by using the change of base formula so it was all about the laws of uh, logarithm thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you